Then you're going to take your legs up nice and wide, and we're going to do some really wide legged deep squats to really warm up the hips. Okay, keep your legs wide, hands down to the floor. Walk yourself out to a high plank. Left hand comes up to meet, sorry, left foot comes up to meet the left hand, and the left hand's gonna come off the floor. We're gonna rotate up towards the ceiling. Hand back down, foot back out, high plank. Right foot to right hand, right hand comes off, twist up. Walk yourself back up, big stretch up, hands up to the sky, and we're going to go all of that again. Walk yourself out to a plank, left foot to left hand, left hand off the floor, twist and look up towards that left hand. Back to the high plank, change legs, right foot to right hand, twist up. Right, okay, so the eight exercises. The first one's a bit of a squat complex. So the four movements that we're gonna be working through for 45 seconds is a quarter squat, a half squat, a full squat, and a squat jump. Quarter, half, full, Squat jump. I'm just going to keep doing that for 45 seconds. When we say 15 seconds rest, it's so going to take your feet wider. And from here, we're going to do this side lunge. You're going to reach towards the floor, come up, jump in and out. Use your neck down to the next foot. So take your time with that side lunge, reach down to the floor and then jump in and out. Then we're gonna do, stay with that wide leg stance. We're gonna do a sumo squat, twist, lunge, twist, sumo squat, twist, lunge. So, working through them. Okay, the next one. Hands come to the floor, we jump out. We tap each shoulder, jump in, stand. So you're almost doing a burpee. Hands down, jump out. Shoulder tap on each shoulder, jump in. Down, out, tap, tap, in, stand. I will remind you of all of these, don't worry. The next one, we're in this high plank position here. Opposite, uh, in fact, we'll have our knees on the floor. Opposite hand and leg moves. So from this position, opposite arm and leg extends out and comes back to center. And the aim is to keep both your hips and shoulders facing the floor. Then we're gonna do these cheeky little numbers, pretending to pull an imaginary rope down so you're twisting through the core really trying to pull down an imaginary rope. From here, we're gonna go into a plank, alternating leg lifts. So you again, try to keep your hips really square to the floor, using your glutes. And then we finish with bicycles. Then we'll rest for a minute and do all eight exercises again. I will remind you what's coming. We're starting with a squat complex. We do a quarter squat, a half squat, a full squat, a squat jump. Quarter squat, half squat, a full squat, squat jump. We're good to go? It's gonna get cheeky. There's not much rest in here. Okay, 10 seconds, starting with a squat complex. Three, two, one. Quarter squat. Half squat, full squat, 
squat, jump, and go again. Quarter, half, full, jump. This is really going to get the leg muscles burning. We're trying to keep our torso nice and upright. We're just getting deeper each time, then exploding up to finish. Last time now, finishing three, two, one. So next we're going to that, touch the floor the side, drop in, out, and then to the next side. We're going in five seconds. Just start with a wide leg, reach down. Okay, off we go. Both hands touch either side of the foot, jump in and out, and then change. Go as fast as you can, but making sure that we're loading that leg that we're leaning towards. Over halfway. Nice, keeping that jump and just keeping the heart rate up. Last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. So we're going from a sumo squat, twisting, lunge, twist, squat, twist, lunge. We're going in five seconds. Okay, here we go then. Squat, twist, lunge, twist. Squat, twist, lunge, twist. Legs are screaming now. Over halfway. Five, three, two, one. We're going to those burpees and shoulder taps. So hands down, jump out, shoulder tap, jump in, stand, go again. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. Full extension at the top and straight back down for your shoulder taps. Halfway. The last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. We're coming down to a tabletop position. We're doing what's called a bird dog, opposite arm to leg extends out in front. We're going in five seconds. Okay. So aiming to keep your core engaged. So try and keep your hips tucked under and your ribs pressed down. Trying to keep both shoulders and hips facing the floor, extending opposite arm to leg. Trying to keep the core contracted as you extend. Fifteen seconds left here. Five, three, two, one. We're going to sit on our bum. We're going to be a slight lean back, and then we're going to twist for it through our core, pretending there's a rope that we're pulling down. Okay. Let's go, really reach up, throwing your arm into it. Use power 
and really pretend there's a rope that you have to get to the end of. There's something you really, really want at the end of that rope. So keep pulling it towards you. Keep leaning back, core engaged. Twisting from the core, keep pulling. Power over halfway. Last 10 seconds, keep twisting the core. Three, two, one. We're going into a high plank position. We're going to be lifting alternating legs. If it gets too tough, pop your knees on the floor and do straight leg lifts. Try and hold a plank. Okay, off we go. So keep the core engaged. Lifting the legs. One leg. Then the next, trying to keep the hips facing the floor. Don't twist through these. And trying to keep the core engaged the entire time as well. Over halfway. We've got bicycles to finish this round before we get a big rest. Three, two, one. We're going to lay on our back. We're doing bicycle crunches. Hands at the temples and opposite elbow reaches for the opposite knee. We're going in three, two, one. Then knees coming up and the leg extending out. Again, trying to twist from the core. This is the end of round one, so push it hard now. 20 seconds and then we rest. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, relax. A full minute's rest. And then we do it all again. Seems to go really quick, but I definitely didn't miss anything out. I usually miss an exercise out if there's more than four. <laughs> Just twice, one more round here, <laughs> one more round here, and then we've got a little finisher, just a little finisher, but it's only a minute. Oh, <laughs> okay, so we're going in about 30 seconds, starting back with the squat complex. That was actually surprisingly hard, especially on the core. Feeling that in the core then. Okay, we're going to go in 15 seconds. So starting with that squat complex, quarter squat, half squat, full squat, squat jump. We are going in five seconds. Eight minutes of work. We've got this. Off we go. Quarter squat, half squat, full squat, squat jump. Fifteen seconds left. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. You're going to the side lunge lean. Jump in, out, go to the other side. Start with wide legs. We're going in three. Off we go then, hands touch either side of the foot, jump in, out, go to the next leg. 
So don't rush that lean down. Then explode up, jump in, out. Load, explode. Load, explode. 20 seconds left. I'm going to go to then Y squats to lunges. Okay, 15 seconds and we go from sumo to lunge, sumo, lunge on the other leg. I can already feel the doms from this. Three. Up we go then, big deep sumo, twist, lunge, twist. Twenty seconds, and then we move down to the burpee shoulder taps. Last few seconds. Five. Okay, so next round four already. Hands down, legs out, shoulder tap, legs in, and stand. Burpee shoulder taps. We're going in five, three, two, one. Off we go. Get down, shoulder taps, get up, go again. Over halfway through this one, which means we're over halfway through this round now, or we're coming up to halfway through the round. 10 seconds. We're going on to them bird dogs. We're actually a bit of a breather. So we're in that tabletop position next for the opposite arm to leg extensions. Really focus on having that core contracted so your ribs are pressed down and your hips are tucked. So keep the core. If that means you can't lift as high, that's fine. Don't sacrifice core for a big lift. So with bottom part of high, you can lift quite a lot if you arch. Try not to arch, try to keep that good hollow position in the core. So it might mean you not, might not get as high of a lift. So that's fine. That's what we want. We want the core to stay contracted. The last few seconds, five. Then go to the rope pulls. Rope pulls, and we've only got two left. We've got three exercises left. They're very core heavy, but we're nearly there. Really big, aggressive pulls with these ropes. Okay, off we go. Lean back and twist. Throw your arm up and pull it in. All the aggression you need to get to the end of that rope. What? You just need to pull Okay, go for another minute. Really show it aggression, it's heavy. The rope's heavy, but you need to get to the end of it. Keep that lean back, keep that twist. We're nearly there. 10 seconds. More aggression, pick up the speed. Let's get to the end of that rope now. Five, three, two, one. We're up in a high plank, we're doing the alternating leg lifts. This is about a bit of a glute contraction to lift the leg, but keep in a solid plank position. Three. Get your plank position, and then go for the leg lifts. 
Again, we're not looking for all the height with that leg. So we want to keep the core contracted, squeezing the glute to lift the leg. Twenty seconds here. Then we have our last exercise. If you want to put your knees on the floor and do straight leg lifts, finishing in six. Four, three, two, one. Bicycle crunches to finish. So we're on our back, we're gonna crunch our shoulders off the floor and try to get shoulder to knee. Off we go then. 45 seconds to finish. Twenty seconds, and we're done. You got the pace for the last ten. Three. Nice work. Nice work. Right. Here's the finisher. As if our core wasn't um, gone enough. It's a core finisher. She ate you. She didn't hold it. She didn't in there nothing. Okay. Okay, so it's 60 seconds work and that's it. We're done in 60 seconds. Upstairs now. Now, okay. 60 seconds work and that's it. And it is gonna be like this. We're in a plank. Do one shoulder tap, one toe tap. Then two shoulder taps, two toe taps. And you keep going up, three, three, four, four, all the way up for a minute. See how far you can get up the ladder in one minute. So it's one minute constant work, shoulder tap, toe tap. Okay. So we're starting in a plank, 10 seconds and we're done in a minute. Okay, get that solid plank position. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. Ten seconds. Thank you.